Hi, I'm Ping and welcome to my kitchen with Malaysia Kitchen. We're going to attempt nasi lemak today, which is one of my all-time favourite dishes. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the paste today. These are ikan bilis, dry anchovies. They normally come in their dry form. Now in Perak, where I was born and brought up, we have a place called Lumut, where it's famous for this. It gives the sambal the distinct taste and it's a must-have in nasi lemak. So this is pretty important. The rest of the ingredients you can actually get in any other supermarket. Here we have five shallots, roughly chopped, into the blender. We have the 25 gram of ikan bilis. Now this has been pre-soaked. What you do is you put them in boiling hot water for five minutes and just drain it. So they are soft enough to blend. We have the lemongrass here. To prepare the lemongrass, we cut off the top bit and that is the tenderest part of the lemongrass. And we roughly chop. That goes into the blender. Shrimp paste, we call it balachan in Malaysia. That goes in as well. And that's about a quarter of a teaspoon. With one fat clove of garlic, We've got some dry chilies here, there's about six of them, they're quite hot. And we are going to use a mixture of fresh chilies and dry chilies. This dry chilies has been soaked in boiling water for about 10 minutes so that it's softened to be able to uh, remove its seeds easily. So we cut down in the middle and remove most of the seeds. And we want this bit without the seeds. Now the reason why we use a combination of chilies is fresh chilies adds a bit of freshness to the sambal and dry chilies has a more intense heat. Slice down the middle. I generally remove the middle bit and we'll just roughly chop. Now, before we start blending, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil just to loosen it. Now, I don't normally use water to loosen the paste, just because I don't want the paste to turn watery. Lid on. And blend. So we blend the paste down. And this is pretty smooth now, so I'm just going to remove that and onto the pan with some oil. Start by putting about 5 tablespoons of oil in here. Now make sure it's on a gentle heat and let that oil and paste come up to temperature gently. Now this paste demands a little bit of your attention and patience because you need to actually gently fry it so that it releases its aroma and it absorbs all the oil and darkened in colour. And once it's done that, we're going to add our seasoning on it. To go with nasi lemak and go with a beautiful fiery sambal, we have pandan rice. Now to make the pandan rice, we have here 150 gram of jasmine rice in the pan. We have a thick slice of ginger. You don't have to peel it at all. We're going to nestle it in. Two pandan leaves, knotted. This is to release the flavour. Nestle in the rice as well. Now the liquid that goes in to actually cook it. We have coconut milk and water. I'm going to add half and half of that. In Malaysia, we have a little bit of saying called aga aga, which means uh, you judge it a little bit. So here, I'm going to teach you how to make the rice with aga aga method. Um, we're going to put half of the coconut milk, top it with some water. Now, how much liquid? The foolproof method is the liquid has to come above the rice. So no matter how much rice you put in, you add the water or the coconut milk if you're using it all the way to the top 
and when you put your little pinky finger in and on top of the rice, it reached the first line of your pinky finger and they always make perfect rice. So we're going to heat it up and bring it to the boil as the liquid absorbs and it forms little bubble on the top. Then you switch off the heat and cover it with the pan and leave it to steam for 30 minutes. And then you can use a fork to scrape the rice and you will have fluffy, fragrant rice. So we have our rice steaming and our paste now on the coat, just on the last stage of this. And you can see that some of the oils are separating from the paste. It also has darkened in colour and softened. Now at this stage, we want to add the seasoning to this. We have here about one and a half tablespoon of tamarind paste. Now you can buy this in any oriental supermarket or your normal supermarket and they will have this already done for you. This is called a tamarind concentrate or tamarind paste. We're going to add this on here and what it does, it gives it a, a acidity. And to balance out the acidity, we're going to add a little bit of sugar here. So it's about a teaspoon in here and we have about a tablespoon of chicken stock powder. So we're going to add the tamarind paste first. Add the sugar. And the chicken stock powder. We want to incorporate well in the paste. So I'm happy with this. And you can see the oils is separating from the paste. And that's done. And we can assemble our nasi lemak. The thing that makes nasi lemak is not only the rice and the sambal, it's also its selection of garnishes. On here we have got some cucumber, some boiled eggs, which is easy to get, um, some salted peanuts, and this is the anchovies that we use in our paste. This has been shallow fried, so these garnishes are selected because it gives a different texture to the nasi lemak. So every mouthful you take with that rice and that spicy sambal, you get a selection of freshness, creaminess and crunchiness. So I'm going to assemble the nasi lemak now. We've got a lovely rice that we've made here earlier. Half on an egg. Some cucumber some peanuts, this beautiful crispy yumminess, so this is my nasi lemak with sambal ikan bilis.